Thanks for staying with us. Now, if you're just tuning in, we're learning non-clinical ways to manage our stress level. Now, please let us hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join this conversation. Tweet at us at WayShowAfrica1 with the hashtag WayShow or send us an SMS to or WhatsApp to 81 803 And we still have Joyce Usari with us. So Joyce, before we went on the break, I was saying that me, I'm very hyper, right? So there's really like, you know, even when they are giving me the massage, I'm thinking about the, 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 the millions and the whatever that I have not made. So how do we, how do we manage it? Especially this has been a very interesting year, um, COVID, you know, it came and, you know, even you as the spas, you had to shut down, you know, it took a yeah. while before you were allowed to reopen to, to business, right? And so there was a lot of things going on. So, um, how would you say to anyone that you know maybe they cannot afford like easy rightly said not many people can afford going to the spa and also for those that are home right and maybe they have some of these things lying around so two things we're going to break it down into the nutrition part and also the mm -hmm. um, what's it called the um the must the like what are the things i can do can i just get a facial steam at home or something that you can do in the line of the spa things maybe you get the lavender oils and all of that that you can do as a routine that keeps you calm you know throughout for a period until pending when you're able to go into a spa to go and get a proper work done on your body mm -hmm. yeah okay so as i said with the nutrition part um obviously the more you take junk food the more your body craves for junk food and it's a roller coaster and with nutrition nutrition plays a really important part because everything that we put in our body actually um, is is what our cells are being made out of okay so um when it comes to the kind of drinks that we're drinking you know you need to avoid things like caffeine you know um you need to avoid um you know uh, processed flowers um you need to add more fruits vegetables in your diet um, you need to eat more whole grains. So those are the things in, in with nutrition that you need to really, really, really focus on. Okay, and maybe healthy fats like avocados, your nuts, you know, the cashew nuts. We've been, we are blessed in Nigeria, you know, to have all these um, uh, fruits and vegetables and most of them are organic. So we're really blessed in our country just for us to take our time and really, you know, um, look for um, those foods and plan you know especially when we are stressed out you know we need to really plan what we're going to eat you know so it's really important that you know we uh, watch what we eat it's so important yeah so on the other part of um like routines that you can do you know like a mini spa in your home what are the things that you would recommend okay um just simple things um like burning candles using diffusers at home um, switching off your phone, the phone actually plays a very important role as well because the phone, your mobile phone emits something called the blue light, okay, which um, triggers a hormone, like a stress hormone, okay, so you need to switch it off, you need to switch off your uh, mobile phone to be able to really relax, okay, so um, those are the things. So things like uh, candles, diffusers, like um, music, you know, uh, very cool, calm music. Um, yeah, those are the things that we need to do. And then also <laughs> for those that are in committed relationships, more love making and less, you know, fighting and hating. <laughs> Someone in the studio right here, like he just said it and I just saw the guys in the studio go like, you know what, you just the hit the nail on the head. Everybody in the studio, because they say that uh, sex is the greatest therapy for sex relief, uh, for what stress relief. Stress <laughs> See the way I was smelling a lot this Sunday, you know, but you know, um, but for the people that do not even have the time for that, what do they do? <laughs> but for those that are not in a community All the people that are not in a, in yeah. a relationship. What do they do? <laughs> Okay, the thing about the thing about uh, love making and exercise, they they actually trigger the same response, okay. which is the endorphins that is pumped out, which is okay. a feel good hormone. So if you're not in committed relationship, then maybe exercise would help as well. Mm -hmm. you know? <laughs> Please give us alternative. So of course, we are we are we are 
We are holy. <laughs> we are well, anyway, you know, I'm not even going to talk about it. Some of us are celibate. <laughs> yeah, we are celibate. I'm with you on that. Single and celibate. But, um, yeah, you said something about um, adding weight in the, in the midriff um, um, section. And I was like, you know what? I am so guilty. Because recently mm. I've been trying to put on my jeans. And I'm like, something is just wrong with the midriff section. What is going on? You know, so yes, I definitely do agree with you that um, at least for my body, when I'm stressed out, um, my midriff like kind of starts adding weight and and mm -hmm. all of that. And then I was reading something um, before I came on the show about processed meat and fried foods um, increasing anxiety and uh, uh, depression, which obviously leads mm -hmm. to stress in people. Is that is that true? Yes. The thing about food, um, when you take food. It's broken down into chemical response, right? So once a food is, once you ingest food, the food is broken down and then it now triggers different, um, different responses. So that's why nutrition actually plays an important role when it comes to um, stress relief. So when you're taking things like uh, fried foods, your cokes and all of that, they, they, they make you feel good for a short while. But then what it does, the, the, the effect later on actually, you know, negates that feel good that you were feeling initially. So it's really important for one to actually watch, you know, the kind of foods that we're eating, you know, when we are stressed. It really plays a very important role. Okay, so um, David Willis actually said this. He said that um, someone trying to, he gave the stress uh, word, uh, the acronym, saying someone trying to repair every situation solo so what's your take on this a lot of people are trying to do one or two things running up and down especially before the end of the year how do you tell how will they be able to you know calm down take a breather and you know think about what they are supposed to do or get that, help or get people, help yeah. and not be so hyper in the process I think the, the most important thing is uh, meditation. Meditation actually helps. Um, if you start your day with meditation and you're thinking through the what your what your day is going to look like or what it should look like, that will actually help to put everything in perspective. And when you're in a stressful situation, um, taking out time to just think and, and um, say, okay, what can I do to make this better? You know, so those are the things, the kind of responses that one has, as I said in, uh, earlier on, is your response to the, the stressful situation that actually really, really matters. So meditation really helps. Five, ten minutes a day, it will help, you know, to put everything in perspective. Okay. Okay. okay All right, so I'm curious about um, med uh, medication, Joyce. People like me, who well, probably knows this, I move around the paracetamol all in my bag. <laughs> because, yeah, just some days you have this throbbing headache and you know like you have to push yourself there is just no room to relax and so you just take a tablet and keep mm -hmm. moving so um what would you say to um people who just you know use medication maybe over the counter medication to handle stress okay um there are different there are, well there are different responses so if for me when i have a headache my first reaction is not to get the paracetamol or whatever it is. My first reaction is to see where the stress is coming from. Maybe I've not eaten that day. Maybe I've not taken enough water. You know, maybe I've not gotten enough sleep. So those are the first reactions I have. So I look back and think, okay, what is it? What, what, what have I not done that my body is telling me that I need to do? You know, so those are the kind of things that you need to look out for. So it's not your first response shouldn't be, I need to go and get something to relieve me right now. Just look at because your body is trying to tell you, you know, something. So you just need to look at, you know, uh, the thing, you're, you know, just look at the thing that your body is trying to tell you. Okay, oh, so somebody actually said something no, no, no. about... Okay. Uh, I wanted Joyce to continue on that conversation. Okay. So what mm -hmm. you are saying to Sanzi is... Mm -hmm paracetamol and all of those things should be the last resort, right? It so if be, you yes. have traced all of those things, so what are you supposed to now t do from there? So do you now say, okay, you know what, if it is a, if it's sleep that I'm losing, should I just quickly get a power nap? Or what should you now do from there when you have traced it and you found that out that this is what you need to do? Then how do you, how do you um, 
handle it then if it not persists then what do you then do okay so if if it persists once you've traced okay maybe you've taken a, you've taken a nap it hasn't helped you've taken water it hasn't helped and then maybe you've eaten it hasn't helped now the next line of action is there's something that um, the, uh, acupuncture the Chinese people normally do to relieve um, headache which is there's a point on your palm just around here mm -hmm. okay. where you press, press. Mm -hmm. okay you press it really down you press it really hard mm -hmm. and that actually helps to relieve headache that's throbbing you know headache mm -hmm. so once you do that for five to ten minutes it should relieve your headache and if it not if it does not then you need to maybe then go for the option of taking the paracetamol or you go to the hospital and see the doctor to trace where it's exactly. coming from. Exactly, because with, with headaches, there are so many symptoms. It could be yeah. high blood pressure, it could be so many things, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, as a nutritionist, Joyce, um, mm -hmm. you have had to, you know, tell people this are the kind of foods that they're supposed to eat. Now, people say we eat breakfast, we eat lunch, and we eat dinner. Which we all believe that breakfast is supposed to be more important meal for the day. Now, if mm -hmm. breakfast is the most important meal for the day, what if you um, skip breakfast, for example, what are the kind of supplements you're supposed to take to actually give yourself a balanced diet and be um, um, stress-free for the day? Okay, so I might be a bit controversial with this um, question because uh, for me, uh, what I've been doing for years now is uh, I eat once a day. So breakfast is not an option for me. I take When I take breakfast, it slows me down, it makes me slow. Okay, this may not be for everyone. So it depends on your body system, really, you know. So, um, there are so many supplements out there, you know, because we're not getting enough from our diet, we're not getting enough nutrients, okay? So there are so many supplements, things like, uh, uh, what they call it, omega-3, we have uh, calcium, magnesium, we have your probiotics, and then um, um, the good multivitamins. Those are the things that we should all be you know, uh, taking on a daily basis, even though uh, you know, we are, we are eating properly, but those are the things that uh, we should be taking on the daily basis. Okay, someone just sent a very interesting comment. Albert Epo is from Calabar. He says, Hi, plus ladies, plus TV ladies. We are always ladies. <laughs> so nothing stresses me except power failure, car breakdown, long journey, crowded environment. How can I cope with all of these stresses? Joyce, can you help? <laughs> oh my God. I don't... <laughs> That's from Calabar. Thank you for your comment. Yeah. Yeah, can you help with that? But okay, uh, the truth is, honestly speaking, that's why I said living in Nigeria is a is a is a it was it called is a canon of stress, right? Compilation as in very very <laughs> pressured pressured uh, environment, yeah, yes. very pressured. But you see, also um, part of what we talk about the signs of stress, it shows on your skin. Like for me, for instance, you know, when the skin starts mm -hmm. to glow. <laughs> I, when, the, when the skin stops, no, please, I need to love myself. Nobody else can love me better than Absolutely. me. All right, so when my skin stops to glow and I, I start to look wrinkled and all of that, I automatically know that I'm going through stress. And it comes with a lot of things. I've seen people trying to struggle. I mean, you've helped me out at some point with acne and mm -hmm. all of that. And all. So mm -hmm. how, um, how do we manage the stress level in, t in terms of what we take that helps even um, with our overall look. Because, um, how do I put it? Sometimes when we do not look our best, it also takes a toll on our our confidence, mindset, and our capacity to be able and to, you know what? Yes. Our interaction. Too. Our interaction, everything. And it also brings about depression and all of that. So how do we mm -hmm. even, you know, what? how do we manage the stress in a way that it doesn't tell on our skin? You know, it doesn't show on our skin. Okay, um, like the, the gentleman who sent the message, with all of this, we just need to take a day off and just switch off everything and just be. 
that's another way to just relax. And what if okay? it's a daily occurrence? And what if it doesn't have that luxury? Joyce? And it doesn't have that luxury. Some people have to walk Sunday to Sunday. It's a daily occurrence, and he doesn't I have that luxury. I understand, but they have to find a day when they just switch off. It's really important because you keep you work, work, work. The stress level keeps going up, and then you find yourself in the hospital. So it just one day out of seven days, you know, will do much more good than, you know, uh, uh, working every day, you know. So I, I believe we just have to take one day off and just switch off, switch off everything, you know, TV, your phones, everything. And just go to bed. I agree. That's why they're yeah. so exactly. easy. I and just exactly. go to bed. I, I see. I think you we know, can. Okay. Yeah, we can wrap it. But I just wanted to say to you, Joyce, if you had one thing to say to anyone before we let you go, is I mean, like somebody that's going through stress right now, what would you say would be like your top three counsel for whoever is going through stress right now, so that it doesn't lead to that point of depression? I mean, we saw a video um, yesterday. My sister sent me a video of. Um, I think um, the former Senate President Bukola Sarafi's uh, wife's brother that, you know, mm -hmm. they said it, it's alleged that he shot himself, he died, you know, and, and it was really, really sad to watch because when I saw, the, watched the video, he was talking about how he was, he was you know, um, thinking, having self-harm thoughts and all of that. So if someone was going through stress, because it is from stress that it now eventually progresses, you to know, depression. to depression. So you are at the point where you are able to take them and reverse them back to a healthy place before it even progresses into depression where they now have to see a clinical psychologist and all of that. So what would you advise, what would be your counsel to someone that is at that point right now, that middle point where you can really help them, you know, reverse that stress? I think um, being around family will really, really help. Um, talking as well talking really relieves stress because most people you know um, suppress their emotions they suppress so many things so when you talk you let out steam you let out things that you're not happy with it actually does help you know to relieve stress so one of the things i would say is that people should not be afraid of um talking about their problems mm -hmm. you know find somebody that you can talk about your problems to and that's one of the the uh first uh, um, help that I think uh, one can do for self, you know, and then obviously, you know, as I said, just switching off and just taking out time to just relax, you know, and meditate on, on things that you're, you're, you're looking forward to, your perspective on things like that. Thank you. Thank you so much, Joyce. It's been an amazing <laughs> conversation. Yeah. Thank you, Thank you for, for talking to us. Thank All right, so you. ladies, let's just quickly do a, like a quick summary, you know, mm -hmm. and um, let's hear, let me hear from ECA first, then I'll come to Sanzi. You know, I'm a family girl. Mm -hmm. I love family. So basically what resonated with me in our conversation was that she talked about a support system. She talked about um, eating healthy and sticking to a lot of fruits and vegetables. I, I, I would, um, for vegetables, I, I'm not a vegetable kind of person, I don't like, but fruits I think is very good. You can turn it into a smoothie, you know, and drink it, and it's healthy. It, it um, doesn't have any of the, um, what's it called, processed things in, in, things them, in yeah. them. So that's what you, person with me. Well, um, I already said it, that I enjoy sleeping. It's a huge, <laughs> it, a, it is a huge distressor for me. Mm -hmm. But besides uh, sleeping, there are a couple of things you can just eat on the road, like the chamomile tea, it works for me, mm -hmm. you know, and um, uh, fruits like avocado, carrots, mm -hmm. I think these are things, I, I like the fact that uh, Joyce pointed it out, nutrition is very, very important. Right. And also mm -hmm. for me, I've learned the what is it the acupuncture thing yeah. she said. Yeah. So when next I'm having um, maybe all those pounding headaches and I'm driving, I just maybe I'm in traffic, just hold it for like ten yeah. minutes. So it's it's um it's a big thing I'm taking home today. Yeah, that's fantastic. I, I love okay. the fact that she mentioned you know um, what's it called um, those. Sorry, it's pressure point. Pressure point. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mentioned. I love the fact that she mentioned those um, what's it called things like whole whole grains, you know, avocados and all of that. Because most times, even when I tell you that I don't eat, right? When I say that I don't eat, I still eat my fruits and my, and my nuts. I like uh, okay. almond nuts. I like, you know, peanuts, you know. 
I eat my nuts, I eat my, you know, so I eat and all a lot of, of water and a lot of water. So exactly. even in all of those things, if you can just find what works for your system, like I take a lot of cucumbers, I can just eat cucumber. Like yesterday, my dinner was cucumber and mm. nuts. So if we do all of those things, you know, I'm happy. I'm just curious about those people that are addicted to caffeine, though. If you're addicted mm. to caffeine, how would that work? Because some people cannot go a day without having taking coffee. coffee. You know, True. so and those things and are think, not healthy for I you. I think laughter helps. Too. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Laughter is good for the I think that's the, the best. Soul. 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 I think that's why comedy sells. Yes. Comedy is. Big yeah, in Nigeria. Laugh at yourself. And yeah. that's, you know, comedy We've, comes from a lot of pain. Yeah. So a lot of comedians have gone through one pain yeah. or the other. Yeah. And they're right, able so to actually transcend. That's all we can take on ECO. <laughs> <laughs> <of joy. laughs> Thank you so much, Joyce, again for doing this with us. We really had an interesting oh. conversation. Now, in case you missed today's quote, here it is again. The very simple quote. A year from now, everything you are stressing about won't even matter. So don't mm -hmm. even feel like you need to worry too much about anything. Yeah, be just, coming down. Just awesome. be coming down. Coming down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> be coming down. It's been a, an insightful conversation. Keep all the conversation going on all our social media platforms at Wish You Africa mm -hmm. One on IG, um, Twitter, and on Facebook as we continue to hear what you're saying. Now, in um, see you, see you, see you tomorrow live at 8 p.m. as we bring another great conversation to your screen. Enjoy. <laughs>